Morning everyone and I uh, hope you're doing okay today. Uh, every time the Christmas season comes around we look forward to putting up a Christmas tree, giving and receiving gifts and participating in other traditions that make this the most wonderful time of the year. But sometimes the most significant aspects of the season, remembering and focusing on the coming of Jesus grows old and familiar. So this morning in a break from our usual devotional videos, I want to give you some special devotional recommendations of books and resources that you can use for your, you and your family to refresh your hearts as we reflect on the reason for the season, the incredible miracle of God become flesh, Emmanuel, God with us in the person of Jesus Christ. In no particular order, here we go. This is uh, Hidden Christmas by Tim Keller. Uh, the New Testament uh, begins not with a dramatic narrative or a lofty poetry but with a genealogy and provocatively Matthew's gospel includes women in Jesus's family line something that wasn't customary or uh, accepted in ancient culture where women were largely powerless and uninfluential. So in this surprising take on the Christmas story Tim Keller gives us eight chapters that focus in on the women in Jesus's birth line uh, to reveal the colorful scandalous and refreshing tale of the grace of God in Christ. Christ. So, uh, 10 of those, 7 .99. Can you see that? Yep. yep. All right, next one. Come Thou Long Expected Jesus, edited by Nancy Guthrie. Where else could you find the thoughts on Christmas of Augustine, Luther, Calvin, Edwards, Whitfield, Spurgeon, J.C. Ryle, Lloyd-Jones, Piper, Keller and Joni Erickson Tada? other than in this book uh, and in this one uh, Nancy Guthrie has edited 22 chapters 22 short readings that cover all aspects of the Christmas story uh, it's available only on Amazon 675 oh, see that yep, again yep, 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 yep. all right here we are with our favorite mustached man Paul Tripp come let us adore him uh, in this book uh, Paul Tripp seeks to recapture our attention and reawaken our awe during Christmas time uh, 31 daily readings containing a compelling uh, gospel-centered thought for the day drawn from scripture followed by an extended meditation on that thought. Uh, each of the 31 daily devotional readings includes a scripture reading, uh, notes for parents and children, questions that you can ask to equip one another for the things that matter most this December. Now for some uh, British entries. This is Repeat the Sounding Joy by Christopher Ashe. Uh, and in this book, Ashe brings uh, Luke's chapters one and two to life with refreshing insight and color and depth. Uh, and as you soak in those very familiar scriptures in Luke chapters one and two, you'll experience the joy of Christmas through the eyes of those who witnessed it firsthand. So Mary, Elizabeth, the shepherds, Simeon, uh, and this devotional will help you just to uh, celebrate the long-awaited arrival of the Messiah and what it means to wait expectantly for him today. So this is uh, daily readings, uh, short scripture readings, a short meditation, a prayer and a carol or a hymn at the end to help you focus your heart and attention on Christ. Excellent. Ching. Two books from uh, one of our favorite pastors, Tim Chester, The One True Story and The One True Light. This is uh, daily Advent readings from Genesis right through to Jesus um, that helps set the Christmas story in the wider narrative of the whole biblical story. So that's uh, well worth investing in. Or you could take this one, which is Tim Chester leading us through the very first chapter of John's Gospel to help us to see the Lord of glory who tabernacled amongst us. And we saw his glory, John says, one who is full of grace and truth. So both of these excellent reflections uh, come with excellent Christmas reflections and prayers and meditations and application at the end of each chapter. So we encourage you to get both of those as well. They are both 424 on 10 of those. Here we go. This is When Love Came Down by Sinclair Ferguson, or The Sink, as I affectionately call him. He's one of my favorites. Uh, we all know that love is at the heart of Christmas. It's the reason behind all of our gathering and gift giving uh, at this time of year. And this is a walk through 1 Corinthians chapter 13, so very apt in light of our Corinthian series. Uh, and sink, The Sink takes us verse by verse and phrase by phrase through 1 Corinthians 13 to show us the rich theology of the incarnation of Christ become flesh for us. Uh, so there's daily readings. Each day finishes with a carol or a hymn and a prayer. Uh, and I encourage you to get hold of that one. It's my favorite one. It's 10ofthose.com 594. 
So they're the book recommendations and keep your eyes out on another video that we might do uh, later this week or early next week which will give you some uh, recommendations for what you can use with your children and your family. But let me just talk about some Christmas albums that you might listen to. You might have already got these. These are all available on Spotify, Apple Music and Amazon Music and other good retailers and on CD if you're still in the dark ages. First one is uh, the oldest one that comes out from Sovereign Grace Music. It's called Saviour. So how do we get to God? This question is divinely woven into every living soul and it finds its echo in scripture uh, because there we see that God wants an intimate relationship with his people to live with them. Yet the presence of this holy God is a consuming fire so we in our sinfulness cannot dwell with him. But this album Saviour celebrating the mystery of God become man is an exaltation of the one who has resolved that dilemma through the miracle of his incarnation. The baby in a manger is God himself, the saviour who came to bear our sins and reconcile us to the Father. The saviour, uh, this, this album contains 12 truth saturated songs suitable for worshipping God year round and each song ponders and celebrates the reason for Christ's coming. The dog eat them. Do you want to do all that again? No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, never work with children and animals. Album number two, Prepare Him Room with that classic line that we've sung many times, who would have dreamed or ever foreseen that we could hold God in our hands? The reality of the incarnation, the Son of God uh, taking on flesh and bones to save us will be an eternal source of wonder and gratefulness and joy. Uh, and the 14 songs on this album are Sovereign Grace Music's attempt to capture that mystery in song. Highly recommended. And the third and final album we want to recommend to you is the most recent one, which was just released at the end of October. For many of us, Christmas can be uh, far from the most wonderful time of the year. There can be times of grief as we miss loved ones who have passed. Grief can sometimes feel unbearable. And when our resources are depleted, when the, the shame of sin crushes our spirits, and when heaven seems an eternity away, Christmas can bring unimaginable good news heaven has come down to us so this is a brand new cd and it is ideal for a pandemic hit christmas so as i say check all of these out on spotify apple music and amazon music i hope these resources bless you have a great great time getting stuck into them cheers for now have a great day god bless you and merry christmas